So nine months ago, I created this video demonstrating how to use multiple AI tools to create a professional LinkedIn profile photo. Now the results came out great, but at times were very inconsistent. Fast forward to today, I believe I found a more simplistic method that produces quality results. Here are some of the results so far, and you can see right there how detailed and realistic some of the results come out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my method so that you can go and create your very own professional LinkedIn profile photo. So the tools that I'll be using is Leonardo AI and ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT is not a necessity for this method. Uh, I use it just so that I can automate my prompts. Now, as always, ChatGPT will need to have context for the project that you're working on. There'll be a prompt in the description of this video that you guys can grab and it will set everything up for you guys. So first let's grab the actual photo of my friend that I'll be using. This is my friend right here. And then let's just enter the prompt and press enter. Okay, so now it's provided me with all of these prompts that I can grab and input them into Leonardo AI. So this is Leonardo AI guys. And if you have not used this tool before, go check out my other videos that I've done. It's definitely an image generator you need to check out. So all we need to do is click here where it says image creation, okay? And you'll see here at the top, it's gonna to give us an option to upload a photo. We wanna click here, character reference. Now the individual that I'm using is already selected. So let's press confirm. And you can see there she has been selected. And before we enter the prompts, I wanna just make sure that you guys are on the right settings. For the preset, I want you guys to do portrait perfect. The reason why we wanna select this, when you hover over it, it says, Capture stunning professional portraits effortlessly. And just over here where it says preset style, I'm just gonna do the portrait cinematic. You can try the portrait close up as well and see how the results come out. Now for the image dimensions, we wanna go one by one. Uh, I feel as if that would be the correct dimensions for a profile photo. We're gonna click down here where it says advanced settings and I wanna stick to Leonardo Kino XL, but this option here where it says photo reel. This is the option that I want you guys to select. All right, so let's go back to ChatGPT where we can grab the prompts. Okay, so literally we're just copying it right here and we're just pressing enter. And this is why I always use ChatGPT to automate everything. I mean, who can be bothered typing? I just want to copy and paste. All right, so we're good to go. And you can see here on the right now, it's telling us it costs about 42 tokens to generate this. Now to give you guys context of how much this actually cost, I've selected the apprentice plan here, which is about $12 a month. And that gives me 8,500 tokens. So let's generate our first three examples, which is in the banking and finance industry. All right, so all three generations took about less than a minute to generate. So let's have a look at all of them. The first one here is a financial analyst within banking and finance. And look at that. I mean, you cannot get any closer than this. This every single, all four of these generations have come out looking exactly like her. Now, the other example was a bank manager, but I mean, it, it kind of made sense that they would all look the same. And then the last one was a loan officer. So yeah, to be honest, all three of them, they, they could all be dressed uh, in the same way as well. So, but the, the main thing I want to stress is tw all 12 of these generations all look like the person. So I'm really happy with the results so far. All right, our next industry is the legal industry. So let's see how the results come out. All right, so the first example is sort of a lawyer. You can see there the suits changed up, kind of looks like she's in court, there's some people in the back. Um, and then this one here, she's wearing a tie. Um, and yeah, look, yeah, it looks like she's some sort of sitting in a courtroom here, standing in a courtroom, sorry. Yeah, and this looks like some sort of chamber as well. The other one's a paralegal. Yep, same sort of vibe. Look at this. Look how consistent the results are. The last one, I think I did a legal secretary. Yep, the suits changed up. I mean, look at that, like brilliant. So far, I would have to say every single generation looks like her. All right, next we have the healthcare industry. Here's the first ones. We've got the generations of her as a nurse. She's wearing her scrubs. You can see in the background, she's in some sort of hospital, um, but you can still, I mean, they, this one's, you've got sort of the, the hearing thing. I forget what they're called, but look at that. That's, I mean, this is just the first four generations. They're all coming out consistent. Now we've got her as a doctor. I mean, look at that. This, this is brilliant. I literally, the results are coming out so good. And then the last one was sort of like a healthcare administrator, which is good because she's wearing like the blue 
uh, top underneath. Um, and yeah, she's still inside the hospital. So the results are still coming out great. Next, we have the government industry or government officials. All right, the first one is a policy analyst. And look, yeah, you can see it there. It's, it's very similar to sort of the lawyer. Um, but yeah, look, we're still getting, we're getting different uh, clothing, but similar type of results. Uh, that one was policy analyst. Then we've got diplomat. Um, yeah, look, I mean, yeah, I... <laughs> Yeah, she's standing in front of maybe like a government building or something. But the main thing is we're still seeing consistent results. And then the last one uh, is just a public health officer as well. So I don't know. It's a COVID official. <laughs> Next, we have the education industry. First, we have a university professor. And yeah, they're wearing a suit. Yeah, I mean, cool. You could sort of see that this could be potentially the university. Yeah, I, honestly, I think these results come out really nice. This is in sort of in front of the college itself. So very, very nice. Then we got a school principal and you don't really see many young school principals, right? But in this case, yeah, you got the faculty in the back. Yeah, this is what a principal would wear, sort of like the sweater underneath the jacket. Um, yeah, it could be in front of the school and in the classroom. So yeah, not bad. And then we've got a school teacher as well. And this is, yeah, you got this, per she's in the classroom. Yep, you've got the, they don't look like kids in the background, but <laughs> funny enough, she looks like the student. But yeah, this is another good example. Yep, another one of the classroom. Um, and then, yeah, you've got this one as well. I mean, mind you, I, I've just sort of copied and pasted the prompts and you could have really said anything. You could have said kindergarten teacher, you could have said a high school teacher, and you could have also changed the clothes. Regardless though, setting in the background's changing and the clothing's changing. All right, so now we have the construction industry tradies also need to have their LinkedIn profiles as well. So let's see how the results come out. The first one is a construction project manager. And I mean, it's brilliant. The, the one thing I just wanted to see is if they would give the hard hat and they have, look at this, she's on site. This is brilliant. Like, in the, and you can see, even see here, she sort of changed her clothing for being on site as well. This is brilliant. The next one's a civil engineer. Yep. I mean, you got the vise like this, this thing, like, honestly, this is uh, brilliant. This is, I mean, this is 10 out of 10. And then we just got a side supervisor and yeah, they usually wear the orange uh, vest here as well. Another four great examples, all looks like her. All right, and finally, I'm just gonna generate a bunch of random jobs and let's see what the final results come to. The first example is a graphic designer. I like how it's sort of more artsy with the clothing now and got a nice lamp in the background. Um, yeah, this is also great. This one's actually one of my favorite ones. Great top. Uh, and it looks like sort of the back. This is one thing I love. The backgrounds just change according to the role. That's what like, I, this is what I love about it. It's got some lighting there as well. Next, we got human resources. Yep. And there you go. Yep. It's <laughs> can't trust these people. Like okay? no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It looks great. Then we have a sales manager. Yeah, very similar. Um, yeah, not really much of a difference there. I maybe should have done car salesman. Maybe there would have been cars in the background. Then we have event planner. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of just changing the clothing. This one's kind of good because there's people in the background. Um, yeah, very professional. This one's kind of cool. We have a research scientist. Yep, they're in sort of like a lab coat. Uh, there's like a lab in the background. Brilliant. Then we have a customer service representative. Maybe we should have had like the, the headset on her head. That would have been cool. And then we've got her as a fitness trainer. And you can see there, she's, it's, she's her arms are much more, much more buff now. Even here as well. She's in a gym outfit. Uh, yeah, this is great. So that's it for the video, guys. Like you can see there, it's that simple, okay? I, I go and try this out. Let me know if you get the same results, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.